Hey, how's it going, everybody? Tall Tesla guy here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Fantastic week. Uh, we're not quite into the holidays yet, so I know it's getting pretty hectic and busy. But I hope you're finding some time to kind of relax and enjoy yourself a little bit. It's uh, been a crazy year for sure, and I know we're all counting down the days until the end of the year when we get into 21 and we can put 2020 behind us. But, um, you know, if if it's your first time here, think about subscribing. We throw in videos at least once a week, if not twice a week, talk about everything from tech to DIY, lifestyle stuff, and certainly Tesla, which is what we're going to be talking about today. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. There's no way I could have done it without you. Um, it's been a great ride so far and I can't wait to see where we go from here. So, and maybe think about hitting that like button if you feel like it or if it suits your fancy. But uh, what I wanted to talk about today, so I've been putting videos out a lot lately, just kind of talking about little bits and pieces about the vehicle, about the, our Tesla. We have a 2020 Tesla Model Y, like you guys know. Uh, we have the long range version. Uh, we did not get the performance. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit why we didn't, but we didn't get the performance. But however, it's it's not something that I'm missing. I mean, it, it'd be great to go, you know, to, to overtake Ferraris when we go off the line, but I still think I might be able to beat them anyway, maybe a little bit. But, um, you know, it's working perfect for us. We love the car. We love nearly everything about it. There's a couple of little things, one, two, three, maybe that I'd love to see changed on the car. And I know that some of them are gonna be addressed with the 2021 Model Y. Um, but uh, some of them are probably future things down the road that I know kind of Elon's been stirring around in his pot a little bit. Just uh, just kind of thinking about something with a couple of things with the suspension, a couple of things with the ride. You know, it's kind of hard to tell with the video, but you do kind of, it does make it kind of a stiff ride in the car just because it ha doesn't have an air ride suspension. Now, some of the Model S's, um, you know, certainly the performance version has a air ride suspension. In fact, my uh, Volkswagen Passat has an air ride suspension. It's just, um, it's odd that this one doesn't, but I think that's something that's coming down the road. And I know, you know, it's, it's to have different packages and all that kind of thing. So he's probably thinking about it for the next, the next launch, which means the 21 version, which is great. But, you know, right now we're sitting at about 2,000 miles on the car and um, overall it's been fantastic. Now, I really wish we had more miles on it. I wish it wasn't in quarantine pandemic time like we are now in which we would be driving a lot more. Um, we both work from home, which is fantastic. And it, it just ends up being a, um, so we, we kind of really cut down on our, our daily driving. Uh, you know, here and there for stuff and, and certain meetings and stuff like that. But other than that, it's it's basically just, uh, you know, around town, grabbing some coffee, dropping off our daughter, that sort of thing. So, you know, once this pandemic is done, once we are able to travel, I have family that lives on the East Coast. My wife has family that lives on the Northwest. Uh, you know, we have some family down South. So, you know, taking a lot more road trips and being able to experience some of the more, some of the stuff of the car, like the, the long range stuff is going to be, is going to be kind of key. But I can tell you though, now I'm six, five, like you guys know. So from a taller person's point of view, the car is very comfortable. Now I have my seat settings in here. Perfect for it, but we have a baby seat in the back. Um, it's an, my mind anyway, it's an overly large baby seat. Um, I'm not sure why it needs to be as big as it is, but it's big nonetheless. And the cars, you know, the seats fit in perfect. My settings fit perfect. I have plenty of leg room plenty of, uh, certainly plenty of headroom. And there's so much storage in the car that it's just amazing. So, you know, that alone, the comfort of the vehicle, these seats are real plush and comfortable. Um, we have taken it on a couple hour drives, just nothing like our 10 hour, um, you know, kind of marathon drives we used to do. So we haven't done that yet. So it'll be, uh, yeah, I'm going to want to tell you guys about that part for sure, just to see what, uh, how comfortable that is. But you know, as it stands now, it's it's just, it's really comfortable. The, the cabin is comfortable, the seats are comfortable, and I like the connection to the infotainment system, how easy it is to reach it, that sort of thing. I'm not having any issues at all with that part of it. Uh, the storage is unbelievable, how much storage space there is in it. You know, 68 cubic feet or something like that, that, uh, you know, with the seats folded down, where you can put tons and tons of stuff back there. That's probably more of a utilitarian kind of use of the vehicle. We use this as an everyday vehicle. This is going to be our car, so I'm not going to be hauling lumber, but I know I could if I wanted to. Um, people talk about the noise in the car, you know, uh, kind of wind noise. I don't notice it. Um, we have, like I said, a Volkswagen Passat. Um, it does pretty good with the noise or the wind 
wind block, I guess. Um, but I don't notice much of a change in this. I know that there's no engine in it. People say, hey, there's no engine, so you're hearing everything. I get that too, but I wouldn't want it to be super loud. And I know that there's, they do make a kit that um, makes it, you know, it, it puts some trim, you put some trim around the doors and stuff like that. I think I might might get it. It is really cheap. It's it's under 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description there, but it, it's um, it's not expensive and it's easy to install yourself. So I might just do it just to do it. But, you know, in reality, I don't notice the wind noise. Um, maybe a little bit louder on the highway, but not to the point where I'm thinking, like, this is crazy loud. So, you know, the wind noise is definitely not there for me anyway. I know some people don't like it, but for me, it's not. I also got lucky, too, with the build quality. And I put a video, and I'll, I'll put a link up either side to it just to um, kind of talk about that. And it was really about the delivery. So my expectations were that it was going to be you know, a tough delivery in a sense of panel gaps, paint defects, you know, seat alignments, um, quality issues inside, and I just didn't have it. Uh, there were a couple of little things because I was really combing the car over. Two minor, minor, minor paint defects. It almost looked like a drop, you know, a paint drop when they sprayed or something like that. It's really hard to find. Um, nobody else has been able to see it. In fact, I almost forget where they are at times. And then on the other side, there's a little bit of down at the, the plastic rocker panel underneath the doors. It's off, it's alignment. The door is off alignment just a little bit, but it's within spec, you know, which Tesla talks about a lot, but it's within spec. So it doesn't affect the wind and it, I don't even notice it anymore. Other than that though, I mean, we really didn't have any problems with it. So that could be part of what's swaying this a little bit. I mean, if I had issues with the car, if I had, you know, panel gaps, paint defects, you know, just inside of it quality defects seats weren't you know people having seats that would fall down they you know they didn't uh align up with each other stuff like that that would definitely be an issue and be something that i would still be you know harping on for sure but we just didn't have it we didn't have it on our side so you know i guess i'm coming from a, a more positive outlook on it i was actually set up to love the car anyway so i was kind of kind of love it at that but i mean looking back so 2,000 miles now we've only we've had it for as we picked it up mid-september so we're coming up on two months now typically we would drive a lot more than 2,000 miles in two months uh in regular commuting my wife's typical commute is about 30 miles each way uh, and then you know driving it around and driving to different places see friends and family and stuff like that so we would normally have more than 2,000 miles on it but you know a 2,000 mile review is going to be similar to my 1,000 mile review in that i'm still happy i still love the car i still love the um just the styling, the excitement of driving it and, you know, what you get from it and all the excitement of the drive, the acceleration and, and people, it's, it's, you know, beat that into the ground for sure, but it is amazing. And it's just, it is so smooth and so quiet, the engine takeoff that it's, um, it's just great. And it just adds to the excitement of driving it. It's been a long time since I've had this level of excitement just in driving in general. I never minded driving. I typically drive when we're going places and stuff like that. But, um, you know, having this level of excitement that almost to the point where you miss it when you're not driving, which I've said in another video too, but it's just a weird feeling to just think about it like that. Um, it just makes it exciting to, to be part of this again. And I'm excited about where Tesla is going in the future um, as far as the car updates, as far as the software updates, all that kind of stuff. And I threw a video in there talking about the updates a little bit, but just it's it's super exciting it's almost like getting a christmas present when you see that there's an update for the car it's like what's going to come now you know just little things that they can do and and some of the amazing things like adding range to your car is just it's just super amazing uh you know stuff like that's coming down the road and it, it's really exciting so all, all in all looking back on it 2000 miles i'm sure i'll have the same review at 5000 10000 miles and saying that i still love it so we're going to have the opportunity to take it on some road trips coming up. They're really long road trips, you know, 14, 15 hours. So we'll have the experience of having a toddler in the car. And then on top of that, taking the car for long, long treks like that. So it'll be a great opportunity to, uh, you know, kind of talk about that a little bit. But all in all, I mean, I, I could say if you're sitting on the fence about buying the car and you're in that point, um, you know, pull the trigger, you're going to love it. You're not going to regret it. And then I, I will say that Tesla service has been great. That one time that I brought it there. Um, but in general, uh, the vehicle experience is just fantastic. You're going to love it. So, you know, like I said in the beginning, I mean, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, having a fantastic week. I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to talk about, anything you guys are concerned about, 
you know, throw that like button on there, hit that subscribe if you haven't already, certainly if you've made it this far. And, um, you know, hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you guys stay safe out there.